Hi guys and uh, welcome to this video. My name is Fatnadi for those of you all who don't know. And uh, in today's video, we are doing something different. So in this video, I thought to show you guys how to make a very simple and a very basic vitamin C face serum. Um, all the ingredients, uh, they are easily available from Amazon. You can get them and I will try to leave a link of all the ingredients in the description box below. So you know from where you can source them. You can actually use the serum every single day before, you know, so after you wash your face, just apply the serum and then cover it up with some moisturizer or sunscreen. So the recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is a very, very, very basic recipe. So if you just want to get started with something, y'all can try it out. For exact measurements, you can check the description box below. I will make sure to mention the recipe in the description box, all the measurements, amounts, Amazon links to buy all these ingredients. You can check it out in the description box. Also, if you want to learn how to make the same uh, vitamin C serum with a slightly more advanced formulation with, you know, hyaluronic acid and extracts, you can check out our course. So we have a, a facial serum making workshop at just $1.99, which is extremely cheap. You know, it is way cheaper than what you would get a serum for. And in this course, we are teaching five different types of serums. So there's vitamin C, AHA, fruit serum. Uh, then we have glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, lactic acid serum. So a lot of different serums that you can learn with all the window details, all the PDF notes, you know, uh, specific skin types and stuff. And all of this is homemade, uh, safe to use on your skin. Even if you want to sell it, you can. So yeah, without any further ado, let me show you how to make a very simple and a very basic vitamin C face serum. So to start off with, uh, we are first going to be making a xanthan gum and glycerin mixture. So the gel of sorts, you know, the slightly thick consistency that a face serum has is going to come from this, which is a xanthan gum powder. Now, xanthan gum does not mix with water. So what we do is you just take some glycerin. So here's my glycerin. You just take some glycerin and mix the xanthan gum powder with that. And that's how you, you know, hydrate the xanthan gum powder. So we'll be taking some glycerin. And into that, we will be adding in our xanthan gum powder. Which is over here. Okay. And that's how it looks. Xanthan gum is the edible grade powder. So, you know, in a lot of sauces and ketchup and stuff. They use xanthan gum uh, for the, you know, for thickening purpose only. I believe they also use xanthan gum in ice creams and stuff, but I'm not sure. Or maybe in creams, on cake cream, but I'm not too sure. So we're going to be adding in just a little bit and this is all that we need. Okay, so now we are just going to mix this together. And like you can see, it mixes very well. Right? It just beautifully mixes and it's all mixed together. Now we're going to keep this to the side and in a different container, we are going to weigh out our other ingredients. So we're going to start off with distilled water. Now when you're making cosmetic formulations, you can't use your normal regular tap water or aqua guard water. Well, aqua guard water can be used if you're trying out a new recipe and just to see the formulation. But... Um, you know, when you're making something to use, to gift, to sell, it is always better to use distilled water. Distilled water is just much more uh, pure water. It's, you know, 99.9% .9 only water. Uh, okay, so we're going to weigh out our distilled water now. Okay, so that is the distilled water that we are going to be needing. Now, uh, we are making a vitamin C serum. So, obviously, we are going to need the vitamin C powder which is this this is the vitamin C or L ascorbic acid powder so we're going to be adding that now this powder is water soluble so it just you know as soon as you add that in water it is going to start dissolving so what I'm going to do is I'm just taking a spatula and I'm going to just quicken this whole process of the vitamin C getting dissolved okay so just, uh, you know, the way salt works, it does become slightly 
uh, whitish and then it completely becomes opaque so the same thing happens with vitamin c also and uh, yeah okay i think that's good so uh, once we have added in the vitamin c powder there's water now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be taking this xanthan gum and glycerin mixture and we are going to be adding that into this water so i'm just going to add that in and as soon as you add it you want to start mixing so to make my process easy i'm going to use this coffee frother and i'm going to just start mixing it okay now there is still some left in this beaker so i'm just going to put some water and uh, we'll just cuz i don't want to you know kind of uh, oops and i don't want to waste xanthan gum and glycerin that's in here so we're just going to take all of that and we we'll put it back in here okay now anything that has water so any okay can you tell it has slightly become the slightest bit thick or uh, thickest no thickish <laughs> so yeah now any formulation which has water it needs a preservative okay you can't uh, not add a preservative if you have added in a uh, water in your formulation be it anything facial serums lotions creams shampoo conditioner whatever if it has water it needs a preservative so uh, i have my preservative here now you need to make sure what the products that you are using they need to work with your other uh, what you say your other ingredients so for this one you need to make sure that you are using a water soluble preservative again something that is eco friendly and it is gentle on your skin so yeah and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this and mix it up once again okay just so that it's easier that way nothing else you can also use your hands and mix it but you know since i have this thing i'm going to use it and that is it that is your facial serum which is ready let me show you the consistency it has become slightly thick just how a facial serum should be not too thick uh and not too liquidy so it's easy to apply mm -hmm. i'm just going to take a drop of this and apply it and show you guys so that's how the serum applies oops yeah yeah now this is a, a very very basic serum which you can uh, you know try it out and make it at home as well and um yeah just make sure that when you are making any formulation you get your measurements right because that's the most important thing measurements here and there can really make or break your formulation uh also guys i have a workshop where i have taught this and many other serums so uh this is just one of the serums which i have taught but obviously a advanced version of the same serum uh you know using hyaluronic acid uh a different preservative and uh, extracts and stuff so if you want to learn how to make that i'll leave a link in the description box below you can go check it out over there it's only 199 uh so you know it's extremely cheap as well but yeah